The city as a whole has done amazing. Um, I talked to a lot of my counterparts in other districts, and obviously Mesa's the biggest district, so a lot of them look to us to see what we've done. Nobody has the resources that Mesa does. Mesa Fire has come to the table to provide all those vaccines, and they are a vaccine site. We had everybody at the table. We had lots of phone, Zoom conference calls, um, and setting all this up, and uh, it really was pretty quick, pretty quick and smooth, uh, with really good top-down support from both Mesa Public Schools and us in the county, wanting us to just know knowing that we could get the, get the shots out quickly, um, we were able to do that pretty successfully. When we did our first six pods at the, at the high schools for all of our staff, um, we were way ahead of everybody else doing it and our staffs were so grateful. They were so excited that they were a priority. Everybody was included and I think that that really built some support. Um, so we had, we had a lot of people very excited and all they kept saying is, now when are you coming back to do the next one? When are you going to come back and do the boosters? When are you going to come back and do that? From January 13th through June 12th, we did 65,000 vaccinations. And then since then, we continue to do uh, pods on a smaller scale. We're up to about 75,000 now. We got a lot of kudos and I, I, I can't emphasize enough what a group effort this was, even though the firefighters were um, probably the face of this. Uh, more than anybody, but uh, yes, absolutely. Letters of recognition and praise and thanks um, to hugs, to um, tears even. Uh, and so yes, people were very grateful. They just were so ecstatic to be able to get a vaccine so quickly. They trust the fire department, they trust the school system to say, hey, we've done this before, we're gonna do a good job, we're gonna provide good resources for your families and for, your, for you, so come to our pods and we get good turnout.